rather uneventful day today. A lot of clouds were around, kind of a thin overcast most of the day, and actually different levels of overcast if you were really an astute observer of the sky. A couple of those clouds did produce some light rain, which may be even a bit generous. Most of it was just sprinkles. Uh, looking from Frankfurt here, from the Kentucky Military History Museum, with our St. Joseph Health weather bug camera, beautiful downtown Frankfurt. And again, it's a pretty decent afternoon, a little bit of sunshine there. A few little light sprinkles from Boyle County down toward Taylor County. Maybe another one trying to get going there, not far from Moorhead. You may still see a sprinkle or two through the rest of tonight. Really interesting stuff. We're gonna give you a little lesson how cold air aloft can translate to temperatures at the ground. And the satellite really plays a key role in this today. It is, it's really cool. Max track, there's a little better rain coverage for us tomorrow than what we have been seeing. Some thunder showers are mixed in. Rest of the eight day, some muggies are going to be around at first. So we go through the weekend, which by the way does start the summer season officially. And then you're looking at a little wetter weather pattern early next week. So when we're talking about the temperatures. It's been a lot cooler today east, a little more clouds, but also cooler, closer to the center of the cold upper level aloft. When we really want to see how that plays a role, okay, look at Black Mountain. You go 4,000 and change feet up, it's only in the mid-50s. 2,600 feet up in Pike County there from the Kentucky Mesodet, it's in the upper 50s. All right, that's pretty chilly near the center of the cold air, not only the center at the surface geographically, but also to the, uh, the colder air aloft. As you come to the west, it warms up. A little rain cool air at Stanford now at 69, but Lawrenceburg's at 77, Cynthia Anna's at 78, Owingsville, Winchester come in at 73. 73 right now, south side of Lexington, 75 at the Bluegrass Airport, northeast wind at 11. Air does remain comfortable and dry with that dew point in the mid 50s, and this is the cool stuff. Okay, first of all, this is the spiral out there in North Carolina. Boy, does that stand out. But watch that right there. That is another little upper level eddy that's going around the main area of low pressure out in North Carolina. So again, really, really neat looking stuff. It was that little cold eddy that's helping to bring the chilly temperatures into eastern Kentucky. The center of the upper level low is near North Carolina, Virginia border. And with that, it's brought below normal temperatures. It'll do so for one more day tomorrow, a little better chance for showers. But there's a whole lot of warm air sitting out here to our north and west and it's coming. So there's your core of cold for now. Temperatures running 20 some degrees below normal in the Carolinas. We've been running 5 to 10 below normal. Let's get you toward the weekend. Hey, there's your warm ups getting into Saturday and Sunday. That's good. Good chunk of the country warms up early next week. And in fact, we reverse the pattern where the cold now sits out to our west and we're warm. And that is going into the final weekend of June. And the rain chances, pretty decent for us tomorrow, decreasing as we head towards Saturday, but then increasing again. Father's Day Sunday, we'll be dodging some thunderstorms. Monday looks to be a pretty wet day at this point. So the future track, we'll watch that area of low pressure to our east. It's lobbing showers back our way as things move backwards here on the weather map. You'll be able to see the counterclockwise spin of the upper level low right there, which helps to bring our rain in here for your day tomorrow. For tonight, mostly cloudy, a stray shower will drop down to around 60. Your day tomorrow, uh, more clouds, better shower chance. We're in the upper 70s. Some thunder will mix in there as well. Low 80s on Friday. Hot and humid this weekend as we start summertime and have Father's Day. And then the wet pattern into next week. 